I've seen familiar, similar faces, but my quick testimony is this. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> I joined this church back in April of 2015. Um, I ran into Rocky, not Rocky, uh, Robert at the barber shop. He was cutting my hair and he showed me this church. And at the time, I was seeking for a new church because I knew I was I knew I was heading to a better place for myself. Amen. So I knew I needed to put God first, and I knew I needed to find a new church for myself. And when I was seeking churches from all across down to the valley, my soul wasn't right with the church until I ran into Robert and he showed me this church and I came and that's all she wrote. Amen. <clears throat> Since I joined this church, um, the pastor preaching. His preaching taught me a lot. Um, he created something inside me, sparked something inside me to grow. He prepared me for life. That his teaching, his preaching prepared me for life today. Um, a couple years back, I lost my older brother to a motorcycle accident. Um, I'm used to death. I dealt with death as a kid, but as an adult, it's different. And the things that he taught me, the teachings he taught me, putting God first, helped me cope with it. Amen. Helped me get Amen. through it. Um, the same day my brother got, the same day my brother met God, it was the same day I got accepted to Cal State Northridge. Amen. Amen. So, with that being said, is I graduated from Cal State Northridge Amen. the following year, 2018. Amen. 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 with a bachelor's degree in psychology at Cal State okay. right now. Right now. Uh, right now. Come on. Recently, I got accepted to USC for my master's. Hallelujah! I'm pursuing my master's degree starting tomorrow. Come on! <laughs> Pursuing my master's degree in social working. Come on. Uh, also, other thing, I didn't tell Rocky and Rob, but I would just want to just wait for the testimony. Also, um, got the job offer at the UCLA hospital. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I'm the type of person I don't really like filling out scholarships because it's essays and stuff like that. So I always tell myself like my scholarship is me working. Amen. And me just getting this, me getting into USC. I was talking with my mother. She was worried like, how you gonna you know work? How you gonna go to school? How you gonna do this and stuff like that? And I used to just tell her like, don't worry, mom. I'm like, God got me. Like, That's all right there. Like, I'm not worried about. I wouldn't make I wouldn't have made this far if I didn't put God first. Amen. And not only just God first, Amen. I put other people before I did Amen. Put myself. Amen. And that gave me leverage. Hey. The people who I put in front of me is coming back to me. Amen. Amen. So starting tomorrow I'm moving down to LA. Amen. Um, All right. At the USC campus. And um, Amen. I don't know when I'm gonna start work because they just they, I just had an interview last week, and they just sent me the email, so I got the job offer. So I'm going through the process now. But um, my position is mental health. Come on. Practitioner. Come on. Mental health practitioner for youth, adolescents. Come on, bro. Um, so I'll be dealing with that. Uh, the page. Pays excellent. Hey, um, right. Pays thirty three an hour. Come on, bro. Hallelujah. I'm just thankful because I work hard. And I put God first and I listen to the pastor's teaching. Amen. Even though I don't come every single Sunday, but the way the the type of man I am, I go to church to learn and teach to, to get to learn what I'm taught. Amen. And it sticks with me. I Amen. still remember the story, the first story I heard from the pastor when he was a kid and. The dog was coming to him, and he stood his ground because he had a faith with God. Amen. 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 I know, I know, out 
involved in the real world, just being a black man, I can't fear anything. Amen. Because I'm already a target. They Amen. fear me. Especially an educated black man. No, right <laughs> I just like to thank this church, the power of love, the pastor, the first lady. Amen. I also want to give a special Amen. thank to Rob Amen. and Rocky for just being my brothers, Amen. for being a guidance. Rocky's Amen. my big brother. Rob, Rob is my brother. We're like the same age. We're the same age, so I don't want to say he's my big brother, but, <laughs> but he's my brother for sure. Because Amen. without him, without me hitting him up, say, hey, bro, I need a haircut. Hey, come to the shop. I'm, I'm by myself. The chair is open. Pulled up to a shop, and I was just saying, like, man, I'm looking for a church. And he just showed me this whole church. Amen. Amen. Coming into the church, Rocky took me under his arms and just let me know, like, look, you can be a man. You can be out, like, outside of this church, outside of your home, you're in the streets. I'm, you're at work, even you're working. I don't care if you're game banging, you're working, you're, you're out there in the streets, and you always want to carry yourself as a man. Amen. And Rocky taught me that, like, carry yourself as a man and put God first. Huh. People going to come to you. Yes. Amen. Amen. I stuck, Amen. I stuck with that to this day. People still come to me as a safe habit. Amen. I like to thank everybody else. I have a lot more, but I want to just keep it short as possible. So, thank you, guys. Amen.